I am a stay-at-home mom and I also work freelance with a bunch of different clients. So having my week organized and being able to plan out my days ahead of time really helps me stay focused and be able to plan meetings and different work around nap times and other events. My tool of choice to do this is called Sinsama. We have a previous video about how Sunsama works and how to set it up, so I will link to that in the info cards and in the description box if you want to check it out. Today we're going to walk through the weekly planning process and the rituals that are preset in Sunsama to talk about how you can use this to help you plan your week and feel a little bit more on top of your day. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this is what my Sunsama looks like right now. There's not a lot planned for this week yet, but it's time to do our weekly routine. So I'm going to go to weekly review first. I was actually out of office last week, so nothing got done. And so this is a weird week for me, but we have one hour this week in total. And by clicking on the total, I can see the breakdown of each different client. There's a spot for me to write out my weekly review, which for this week, like I said, I was on vacation. So I'll just write a quick blurb about that. I save all of my journal entries into Slack where I have automation set up that pushes that also to my Notion journals so that I have a record of all of these notes and I just use Zapier for those automations. Again, we have another video about that and I will link to that in the info cards as well. So once the review is done, then it's time for the weekly planning. This gives me the chance to set any weekly objectives that I may have. I like to use this to follow along with my goals that I have set for each month. So we're almost at a new month, which means it's time for me to set new goals. So I'm actually gonna make that one of my objectives for this week. I'm also going to be closing a contract with a client, so I need to set up the offboarding process for that and just make sure everything's finalized. For each of my objectives, I can select a channel for these items. This helps me track where these goals should be placed and also see how I'm spending my time each week. So setting goals for August is obviously a personal goal. I try to only pick two to three objectives per week. That just helps me keep focused and not try to take on too much at one time. Depending on client work, this may be more or less, but I really try to keep it within those ranges. Once I've done those, it will take me into the regular planning. So this is the part that I do that isn't part of the rituals in Sansama. This is where I actually start to plan out my tasks for the week. Now I can do this because first off, I usually have pretty consistent tasks. I know what I'll be doing in any given day, but also because I time block. Time blocking allows me to set times for each of my clients on each given day. So for example, tomorrow, I know for sure I'm going to do some videos for this channel, Tella. And to do three videos takes me about two hours. So I can plan that on my calendar for Monday. So I'm gonna click on Monday, which will open up my calendar and I can see what I have going on for the day. And then I can drag and drop that into my calendar to have that time blocked for myself and for other people who may be scheduling meetings with me. I do similar things for each of my clients so that everything is drag and dropped onto my calendar ahead of time. And when I go in on Monday, I know what to expect and what needs to happen. My husband also works from home and our kids are both here. So we need to be able to plan childcare around each other's schedule. This gives us some ideas of time blocks and we can plan our most important work while the kids are still napping because we do have very younger kids. Now we set our objectives. So I want to actually create some tasks for these objectives for my week. So for example, setting my goals in August, one of the things that I set goals for is my finances. So I need to have my budget tracker updated so I can make the goals with the appropriate knowledge. So that's going to be on the list for this week. Then on Tuesday, I might want to review my past goals and my objectives from July. So I'm going to put review July, and then I can set this objective with setting goals for August. And when I hit enter, that will appear on my weekly objective list. This way I can see how much time I'll be spending on each given day towards this objective and make sure that I'm building it up gradually. I can also add tasks from this dashboard here. So on Wednesday, if I want to spend another 30 minutes working on goals, then it will create this task for me, set goals for August. Now what I like to do is go through my emails and make sure that I have tasks pulled from my email list into Sansama for the week. Obviously these will change and I'll get more tasks throughout the week, which is why I still do daily planning as well. But this gives me a chance to just make sure that I'm hitting all of the most important work from the emails earlier on in the week. At this point, I will also go through my Google Calendar and add any existing meetings to my tasks. So for example, we have a webinar. So if I hover over this on my calendar, I can click add to tasks. 
and that will add it into my list for Monday so I have a more accurate view on Monday of what needs to happen and when. Monday fills up pretty quickly and because I have my kids, I can only do about six hours of work total. So now that I can see that we're at nine hours of work, I know that I need to pump the brakes and make sure that I am planning accordingly. Okay, so after some adjustments, we're down to seven hours, which is a lot more realistic for what I'm able to do on a Monday. So basically at this point, I just go through and do this for each and every day throughout the week. And like I said, I try to leave gaps because I know work is gonna come up that I didn't plan on. So I like to try to leave gaps in the evenings because if I really need to, I can work once my kiddos are in bed or after dinner when my husband can take care of them. I also try to leave gaps in the morning because I am an early riser. So I can work really around 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., but most of the time I don't have any meetings that early. So those give me a few pockets of time where I could sneak and work if totally necessary. I also have my backlog section in Sansama here. This is a great place for me to put some tasks that maybe I would like to get to this week, but I probably won't have time or don't know where to put it yet. That way, if I have things come up where maybe I got more work done than I expected, or maybe a meeting was canceled, I can go through my backlog and decide what's important and where I could place that on the calendar. I kind of use this as a brain dump for my own personal tasks as well. So things like laundry, organizing, planning for a garage sale, taking the kids somewhere fun can live in here. And that way I am making sure that I'm balancing my work life and personal life appropriately. I'll go in here every morning and just see if there's anything I can pull in or things that I have room for. I try to break down this section with single item tasks. So although I could say plant chores as a general task, there's three different plants that I need to repot. So I put them as three different tasks. So that way I can just do those individually and not feel like it's such an overwhelming task during the week. This is how I find little pockets to get things done because I might have five minutes to repot one plant, but not have an hour to repot all of them. So if I can focus them down and break them down into single tasks, it makes it a lot more achievable. It makes me feel a little bit less overwhelmed when I'm looking at this list. Reviewing what you accomplished last week, setting objectives for the week ahead, and planning slash time blocking out your schedule can all be really helpful steps to help you feel a little bit more in control of your week. Sansama has been a great tool for helping me do this, but there are tons of other tools like it on the market all the way from Google Docs to things very similar like AkiFlow. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Have a good day.